What up, guys? Welcome back. Digital Slang. Today, the Enac Fire G10, the latest pair of earbuds from Enac Fire. A very light, slim, compact, and portable pair of earbuds. We're going to get into the video. I do want to show you what does come inside of the box first USB Type C to charge. We do get a small, medium, and large silicone tip. And of course, as always, change out your silicone tips. It does make a huge difference when it comes to sound quality. User's manual here, and then a QR code you can scan, go on their website and sign up for a two year warranty. And of course, the packaging itself. You know, Enac Fire's earbuds all come pretty much in the same kind of box, same colorway with their logos on it. I don't mind it at all. The G10, lightweight, slim, and portable design. On the back, it will just will tell us a little bit more about the specs of these earbuds. Now, not too many bells and whistles on these earbuds. No ANC, no ambient mode, but these are completely waterproof, IPX8 waterproof. You can use one at a time. There is a gaming mode or a low latency mode on these earbuds. These also do have six hours of battery life and 36 hours with the case. You can see, you know, the basic earbud look, that rounded top, the touch controls on the top, which I'm happy to say do control everything, including the volume and the case, the Enac Fire logo on the top, a matte black finish, a very wide case, but very slim and compact. It will fit in your pocket, very nice. And if we take out the actual earbuds and get our first look at the actual buds themselves, you can see the branding here on the top of the earbuds, an LED light on each earbud as well. And again, the touch controls. So we're going to throw them in. You guys can take a look how they fit in my ears. In my ears, basically, the last few days I have been using these. And four or five hours at a time, I haven't had any problems. They are a very lightweight pair of earbuds. So I'm going to throw them in. You guys can get your first look at the G10s. Now, as you can see, they don't stick out very much. And I do have a good seal. Very hard to hear my voice right now. But I do like how these fit. They don't stick out. Very comfortable, very lightweight. I don't think anyone's going to have a problem with wearing these earbuds as long as they fit in your ears the right way. But let's just start. We're going to do a mic test. You guys can check out the mic, of course. We'll do it in a quiet room and then go and throw some crowd noise on. Check it out and drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the mic. All right, guys. The Enac Fire G10, another pair of true wireless earbuds, the latest pair of earbuds from Enac Fire. Let me know what you think of the mic, if it sounds good, if it's clear, if it's loud enough. Does it sound robotic? Let me know. All right, now we got some crowd noise going, guys. The Enac Fire G10, the latest pair of earbuds. This is what it would sound like if you're on the phone in the crowded room. Let me know how it sounds. Drop a comment. Next, I'm going to show you the touch controls. Again, touch controls do control everything, including volume. So if we play some music and we just tap once on the right bud, it will pause. It does beep in your ear at the same time. And if you hit it again, it will play. And if we double tap on the right earbud, of course, it will go to the next track. And if we triple tap, it will beep and your voice assistant will come up. And if we play some music again, and we touch and hold on the right earbud, you can see the volume slider does go up. And it's the same on the left earbud. One tap will play and pause. Two will go back to the previous track. Three will bring up your voice assistant. And of course, if you touch and hold, it will lower the volume. So anytime we can get a pair of earbuds with touch controls that include volume and previous track, I'm all in. I do, I do prefer that over anything when it comes to a pair of earbuds and touch controls. Now, when it comes to latency and the G10s, if you are playing some of the heavier games, the Call of Duties, every now and then you might notice a slight delay. But overall, it's not very noticeable. You're not going to feel like it's a problem lighter games and content youtube videos whatever it may be you're not going to have any delay and these do come again with a low latency mode and it does make a difference very hard to tell very hard to notice it you really have to look for it when it comes to playing even some of those games like call of duty that are a little more intensive so not bad when it comes to the latency now sound quality on here let's talk about volume first plenty of volume on here i don't have any complaints with the volume these are kind of just how i like it Lots of volume, I can dial it back, find that sweet spot. And the sound quality on here, they're good, they're clear, very clear, they're not bass heavy. There's some good bass, but it's not that overpowering bass. The highs and the mids do stand out. They are clear. Overall, it's not a bad sound. They're a $49.99 pair of earbuds, and that's what we're getting as far as the sound quality goes. It's good, 
It's not the best, but it's not bad either. It's just a good sounding pair of earbuds. But if you're looking for that deep, deep thump, this is not those. The highs and the mids do stand out more than anything. But overall, it's not a bad sound. I don't mind it. All right, guys, the Nackfire G10s. Look, sound quality we talked about, the mic test. Let me know what you think of the microphones on these earbuds. The touch controls are exactly what I want in a pair of earbuds. No latency because of the built-in gaming mode on here. Overall, they're not bad. The problem is they're 50 bucks. And right now, there's a lot of competition in that price range. So value, bang for buck. What are we getting here? You know, no ANC, no ambient mode. We do have a gaming mode or a low latency mode. These are waterproof, so you can work out. They are small and slim and compact, very lightweight. I don't mind wearing these for hours upon hours at a time. But you have to decide what's right for you. Crazy competition right now at this price point. So if you need a pair of waterproof earbuds that are slim and compact and very light that sound good, right? There's better sounding earbuds out there at this price point, And that's kind of what you got to value. These don't sound bad by any means, but there are earbuds out there with more bass. So, you know, what's right for you? What do you like? Do you want more bass? Do you like more highs and mids? That's what these are. Pretty good battery life on here, six hours and 36 with the case. Overall, not a bad pair of earbuds. Man, the $50 space is getting tough, guys. But that's it, the Nackfire G10. I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.